Lucas Media. Shout out to the ones who support me and the ones who hate me. I was checking out the Brother Town Biz um, video that he made about Tank Davis. Make Please make sure y'all subscribe to his platform um, about Tank being a walking stereotype. Now, in the video, Town broke down how when Tank did his press conference with Frank Martin, he kept talking about he ain't, he ain't about that life. And he kept saying Frank Martin's from the suburbs. Now, also, Tank, Tank did an interview with uh, Gillian Wallow and talked about that. And even Gilly had to say, just because you're from the suburbs don't mean you some, you know, just because you're from the suburbs don't mean that you can't, they, they can't beat you. And, you know, the brother Town Biz was just talking about how backwards we are as people. Like, why, why do we brag about being from the hood? And uh, please make sure y'all check out this video. And I have to agree with the brother Town Biz. We are so backwards of people. We're the only people that brag about coming up from hard times. That shame people who, for having two parent households. Or both parents got their degrees. We shame them. And it's so bad that you have people that come from two parent households with master's degrees. And then their kids try to be, you know, street rappers and drug dealers because they want to impress there's some people that some of their peers who come from less fortunate backgrounds and we all know what i'm talking about i've grew up with it y'all grew up with it and i'll keep saying this story you know my mom struggled with her her own addictions uh, drug addictions so i was raised primarily by my father and i had people trying to down me because my father was in my life and because my father worked at jenna motors and we had a well it was a decent house honestly i mean Maybe some of y'all would think it's a little bit small, but to us, you know, it was a it was a nice little nice little house. But you had people saying, "Oh, oh man, you spoiled, man, you spoiled." I'm like, I'm spoiled because my daddy was in my life. Meanwhile, these same people had all the Jordans and the Air Force Ones and you know all the designer clothes. And meanwhile, I'm wearing Walmart and Payless because my father got me out there working. Hence, which is why I think I'm, you know, some of my peers. You know, they still up under their mama and my dad, my father been gone 20 years and I'm still out here grinding. So then that's one aspect. And then this whole, you know, we want to make fun of each other for being smart. There was a book out that came out ooh, maybe 15 years ago called Brainwashed. And that book talked about that where we are the only people that are praised for being dumb. Praised for not wanting to go to school. And it's, it's sad. It's sad because you go to China. I go to China, right? Whenever I go over there and do some business, people brag about their kids being smart. Even in, even here, you know, white people, Asian people, they brag about their kids being smart. They'll sit there and say, my daughter going to Harvard or whatever. You know what we say? Oh, you're not black if you go to them type of schools. Oh, look at you. You, you don't sound black because you speak with such intelligence. Yet, and here's the here's the the oxymoron. We celebrate Martin Luther King Day, a brother who had his PhD at a very young age, and we praise Malcolm X, who didn't have a degree but literally studied everything in a dictionary and taught himself how to read and write so, you know, so well that people wouldn't even want to debate him majority of the time. We uh we we praise. Michelle and Barack Obama, but then we make fun of people who want to be like Michelle and Barack Obama. So it's just it's it's a sickening. I honestly thought it would have stopped, but clearly it hasn't. And I honestly believe that it's getting worse and worse. And the wild thing is, for all my brothers and sisters out there, all you got to do see we it, this hasn't been a, a something that's been going on for centuries. Just go back and look at your grandmother and great grandparents' photos and listen to their stories. Some that are still alive. Talk to some of your elders who was born in the 30s and 40s and even some in the 20s who's still alive. Talk to them. See how we were. You know what I mean? For prime example, I didn't know my great grandfather was finna go to medical school. But then when I was coming up, I was told black people aren't doctors and lawyers. We ain't none of that. And if you do try to do some of that, you not black. So it's just a it's it's a weirdness, it's a sickness, and 
we don't know when it's going to end. But even like with my kids, right? My kids grew up in a pretty nice suburb. And I have to tell them all the time, it's okay to be from the suburbs. It's okay to have both your parents in your life who work hard. It's, oh, that's what you're supposed to do. Look at the Kennedys. Look what the Kennedys have done. Joe Kennedy, then John F. Kennedy, now his descendants. And Robert F. Kennedy and Ted Kennedy. Look at them. There's so many different families we could talk about. But it's it's a it's a weirdness, man. And I just I don't know when it's gonna end. But no, but shout out to Town Biz. I just want to make a video. Uh kinda wanna piggyback off what he said, get my quick thoughts on it, and tell me what y'all think.